Hi, if you're watching this video then I guess you already know why a compact and silent weapon is a great piece of kit to have when stuff hits the fan. I'm Doug Shadwell, director of SAS and the engineer behind the five different bow systems we have at Survival Archery Systems. Now the bow that's right for you depends on your needs, so let's take a look at the five different bows that we offer. Now the first criteria I always look at is the size of my backpack, and that'll be determined by how much gear you're needing to carry. Are you looking to go out for a morning hunt, or are you looking to plan for a much longer stuff hits the fan situation? Now we have bows that range from 21 inches right up to 24 and a half inches, and the size of your pack is going to determine which bow you can fit into which pack. The next thing I look at is, how compact a bow system am I needing? Do I want a super compact setup where I can store takedown arrows inside the riser? And we have three such systems at SAS. Or am I looking for a more traditional type bow where I'm not too worried about how much space I have and I can fit takedown arrows in the bag next to it or even take a full length arrows along with me? And lastly, I look at whether I want to shoot using accessories such as sights and quivers or whether I just want a pure bow that I can shoot instinctively. The SAS Tactical Survival Bow was the first bow that we designed and it's also the first of five bows that you're going to find on our website. The criteria behind the bow was I wanted a bow that could fit into a 21 inch day pack. Now 21 inch is a real important number because it gets down to the really really small side of your day packs. A lot of day packs go up to 22, even up to 23 inches sometimes, but the real small ones, 21 inch is where you need it. So the SAS Tactical Survival Bow, it comes in a neat little camo carry bag that you can wear as a little backpack, and when the bow's out of the bag, you can even use that as a quiver. Now when you take your bow out the bag, in the flap you're going to find your string, and you're also going to find, there's the string, you're also going to find the arrow rest that's going to come with it. So the tactical survival bow comes out of its little carry bag. And then the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take these end caps off. Now these end caps are purely to keep takedown arrows inside the riser. You're going to store those in your carry bag. When I talk about takedown arrows, that's your takedown arrow. And they can actually store inside the riser of your bow. You can fit up to three full-sized arrows um, in the bow. If you haven't seen takedown arrows before, it's a two-piece arrow with a special 316 marine grade stainless steel insert. It takes the two holes in the arrow and it secures it together. It's nice and straight and it shoots just like a regular takedown arrow. There's a little cinch strap that just keeps the bow from rattling during transport. So take that off. Um, I like to put it around my wrist or I actually wrap it around the bow, but for now, in the pocket. And here's the interesting thing. When you want to open this up, you're going to see that the one limb is holding in the wrong direction to what you want to string. So all you're going to do, you're going to remove the little screw on the one side. You do this all by hand. You don't need tools. It just needs to be finger tight. You're going to remove the pin. Right, you're going to turn the limb 180 degrees and you're going to put this pin back into the other hole, the second hole um, that wasn't being used. You're going to slide that in and then you are going to put the screw back into place. Now I'm trying to look at the camera and the screw at the same time. Now that should take you about 15 to 20 seconds and there you have a bow that's ready to string. Okay, so to string the bow, we're going to take the string out of the back, the backpack's pouch. Now, as I said for the first time, just be careful your knock set is inside of the pouch. So you want to be really careful that you keep that inside of there until the right time. And then to string the bow, it's really easy. Place the bow so that it's, um, the limbs fold out naturally and stay in place. You're going to put the small loop on the bottom limb. And then holding tension so that everything stays in place, you're going to create a V. You're going to step through. It's the step through method. 
you're going to place the lower limb not on the ground you're going to place it on the back of back side of your foot on your shoe so it stays off the ground and then you're going to string the bow make sure that the string is nicely seated into the special grooves that are cut out into the limbs make sure it's safe and your bow is ready to shoot it's a 60 inch bow it comes in 40 pound 45 pound 50 pound and 55 pound options and it is a symmetrical bow in that if you choose a right hand bow you have the option of um, purchasing for yourself a left hand arrow rest you stick it on the other side of the bow and then you can actually shoot left or right just by changing hands uh, but the bow will ship with either a left hand arrow rest or a right hand arrow rest as you choose. So you do need to bear in mind that the SAX Tactical Survival Bow does not have mounting points for sights and quivers. It is a standard long bow. You shoot it instinctively, which means that you don't have sights. Um, so this is a bare bow. But as with any survival situation, at least in my opinion, the less you have, the less you have that can go wrong. So the SAS Tactical Survival Bow doesn't take accessories. Who's this bow for? This is the bow that you want to do if you want to shoot instinctively. That if you want the most compact setup that can fit in a small day pack, that can store arrows inside the riser, it is super, super compact. As far as I know, it is the most compact 60 inch bow on the planet once stored. And it shoots just like any other longbow. Um, you can use any arrows on it as long as they're correctly spined. It doesn't have to be a takedown arrow. It can be a normal arrow. It can be wood. It can be carbon. It can be aluminium. So that's up to you. This is the SAS Tactical Survival Bow. So the Recon Folding Survival Bow is the second bow that we designed in the series of five that we have on offer. The Recon Folding Bow is pretty much the big brother of the SAS Tactical Survival Bow. Now it comes in its own carry bag uh, just like the tactical bow comes in the carry bag you get your string inside of the little flap in the pouch you also get your knock set inside the string bag again uh, don't lose that it's really small you get an owner's manual and you do also get your either your left or your right hand arrow rest that comes with the bow so very much like the tactical bow you have a little cinch strap that just keeps the bow's limbs from rattling during transport. You have end caps. And the end caps, like I said in the tactical bow video, don't fit snugly. That's on purpose so that you don't rip your fingernails off when you are trying to remove them. And the difference between the recon and the tactical is that the recon only unfolds. There's no need for you to remove a screw and a pin and flip that uh, limb around of course it's all toolless but there's no need for that uh, once you have the bow open then it's simply a thing of stringing the bow. so once you have your string out the bag it's as simple as placing the small loop on the bottom limb and make sure that your string fits inside of the special grooves on the limbs and again just make sure that your bow stays in place make a V you do the step through method and you string your bow exactly like the tactical um, this bow is a 62 inch bow so it obviously takes a 62 inch string and in essence it's just a slightly longer bow than the tactical once it's set up but it does um, set up a little bit quicker and obviously it stores a little bit longer so this is going to fit mostly in your multi multi-day packs it's not going to fit in your smaller one day packs the compromise on space is offset by um, how fast you can deploy the bow and the fact that you actually don't need to do any assembly so this is the bow that is for the person who has a little bit more space has a longer pack he's going to be shooting this bow instinctively um, you can add a left or a right hand arrow rest just like on the tactical bow uh, it will ship with either a left or a right rest as you choose so if you do want to shoot that ambidextrously um, again just by changing hands 
you are going to need to put an arrow rest on either side of the, the rod. The recon bow is made with the same marine grade materials as the tactical survival bow. Um, we use, on all our bows, we use aluminium. It's, it's a very, very strong aluminium. It's designed uh, to withstand pretty much a lifetime of use. It makes use of 316 stainless steel, which is a marine grade of stainless steel. And the limbs are made of a protruded fiberglass, a very, very fancy fiberglass. And essentially, it's the same limb, the same material from the same supplier that make all of the big compound bow um, limbs in the United States. The Recon does not have holes or mounting points for sights or quivers. Again, it's just a bow that you're going to shoot instinctively. And um, that is it. That is the SAS Recon Folding Survival Bow. I have here with me the SAS Atmos Compact Hunting Bow. Now I'm going to say right off the bat, uh, this is not a survival bow. I never designed it to be a survival bow. I designed it to be a compact hunting bow. Something that you can throw in your backpack, a small backpack, a 22 inch backpack, and you can head off into the woods with. So if you're looking for one of our survival bows, you might also want to check out one of the other four on offer. Now when you receive the bow, it comes in uh, this box. It'll have a user manual. It'll have your string. Uh, be careful inside the string bag. You have the small knock set, so don't lose that when you take the string out for the first time. And you'll notice that your bow comes beautifully packaged inside a, a foam insert, very much like when you purchase a rifle scope. You are going to get a small set of screws as well as the washers that hold the limbs in place. And there will also be a little Allen wrench in your bag. And then you're going to get two bow limbs. Uh, we have 40 pound, 45 pound, 50 pound and 55 pound options like all of our other bows. And then you are also going to get the riser. And the riser will come in two color options. It's your uh, Cerakote Burnt Bronze, which is like the one I have here in my hand. And then you're also going to have the Cerakote Cobalt. And the other thing that you're going to get in your box is going to be a small packet. It's going to have some logo caps inside there as well as some super glue. And uh, these are going to go into the back of the riser and they're going to cover up the, uh, the screw that's going to hold the limbs in place. So as I said earlier, we designed this bow as a compact hunting bow. And the reason we did that is we got a lot of requests from, from customers saying, we really love your products, we love the tactical, we love the recon bow. Um, can you design something that's a little bit more ergonomic, but also packs down really, really small? And this is what we came up with. It's, it has a compound, um, what you call a torqueless uh, grip. So very much like your compound bow. It's uh, 15 degrees and it has uh, attachment points for um, accessories such as sights and quivers. Um, you can put plunger buttons on there. It really is very much like a compound bow setup. Um, it's got the same mounting points so you can use all of your, your ATA accessories, um, your standard stuff from uh, you know, most of the industry products. And very much like any other takedown bow, it attaches using a simple screw and washer. I'm going to get those out the bag real quick. So assembly is really easy. You're going to take one of your limb retaining screws. You're going to take one of your washers. You're going to assemble that. You are going to take one of your limbs and you are going to place it into the limb pocket. Now you do need to make sure that you put the string groove. You'll see it's a little string groove on the back of the limb. That's got a face towards the target. Put your riser into the limb pocket and you simply just turn it into place. Take the hex key and you don't want to tighten this too much. You just want to give it a little nip up. Just a little nip up to take out all the play. Don't make that too tight. You don't want to damage anything. And then you repeat on the other side, again making sure that the limb groove is facing target. And again you nip it up on that side. Once you have that set up, you're going to take the small loop on the string, 
I'm going to put that into the special groove on the limbs. And bear in mind these limbs come in 40, 45, 50, 55 pound. And you're just going to employ the step through method. Just do be careful that when stringing the bow you don't string it backwards. You could uh, damage the bow in that way. And there you have it. As you can see it's got a nice ergonomic handle. Uh, the bow is very very well balanced. Um, we've made sure that the center of gravity sits right in the grip. You can see how nice and beautiful that sits. So whether you're hunting in a tree stand it's going to be perfectly balanced or whether you're on the range horizontal you're also going to be perfectly balanced there. And uh, that's the that's the Atmos fully assembled. So in your bag you're going to get uh, two of these little logo caps and you'll see that on the on the little logo there's a little uh, protrusion that sticks up on the back of this little logo cap. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this and there's two little holes in the riser. You're going to aim the arrow up towards the limb and that's just going to pop in there just like that. Um, use a couple of spots of super glue to put that in place. You don't want to use so much super glue that it oozes out into the riser and makes it look, uh, look ugly. And you're going to put one of those on each side of the riser. What that does, other than having a cool logo on your bow, it actually is going to help you to align the string so that you can get your string to center shot. So center shot is important so that you don't have too much fishtailing and that you don't have too much archer's paradox when shooting the bow. Atmos is made from a high strength aluminium and employs high strength inserts as well as high, high tensile steel uh, screws that retain the limbs in place and all the other components on the bow are made from a marine grade 316 stainless steel that have been chemically blackened and then we have these beautiful G10 grips that finish off the, uh, the handle of the bow. Uh, who's this bow for? This bow is for someone who's not necessarily looking for a survival bow, but it's someone who wants a compact option to uh, take into the woods, to hunt deer with, um, to have something that's nice and ergonomic, to have the ability to attach sights and quivers and plunger buttons and all manner of accessories that you could want on your bow. Um, this is a 60 inch bow and it packs down to a total length of 22 inches. The riser as well as the limbs are 22 inches. Um, your string of course is going to be a 60 inch and you will need an endless loop B50 Dacron string for this bow. As this is our flagship product we have used a Cerakote paint system on, on the bow. Uh, now Cerakote as you well know it's very well used in the firearms industry. It's a scratch resistant uh, paint system. It's very very durable but do bear in mind doesn't mean you can throw it around the woods. This is something that you're going to need to care for to keep it in a good condition. Now as this is a center shot bow it will come in either a left hand or a right hand option. It does have mounting points for sights, for quivers, for plunger buttons and all manner of accessories even including a bow fishing mount or just a stabilizer if you need it. The Ranger Takedown Survival Bow. Now as with the tactical and recon survival bows you can store up to three full takedown arrows inside of the riser. It packs down to 22 inches, both the riser and the limbs are 22 inches long. And as you will see with our Scout and our Atmos bow, the limbs are the same length. And that means that the limbs that come with the Ranger bow can also be used on the Scout as well as the Atmos bows. So if you have a 50 pound Atmos bow and a 55 pound Scout bow, and you have a 45 pound Ranger, all those limbs are interchangeable. So you don't have to go um, spending a lot of money to um, get different poundages on the same bow. Now, as I said, you can store up to three takedown arrows inside the riser. Um, now note that these arrows don't come with the bow, you have to buy them separately. But they do pack nice and neatly inside of the riser. Right, so once you've taken your arrows out of your riser, Stringing it's really easier. You take one of your limbs and you pop it into the riser and make sure that the special groove is facing forwards, facing towards the target. You to place the lodge loop over the riser. Keep tension on that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to look 
there's a little hole in one of these uh, carbon covers you're going to look that the limb is seated all the way to the bottom of that while keeping tension you're then going to place the limb into the other side again keeping the string grooves towards the front again you're going to check that the limb is seated all the way down to the bottom of that pocket you don't want to damage that and then you want to keep tension on it make sure it's all held together nicely and then you're going to do the step through method just like all on, a, like on all the other bows and then again once you've strung the bow before you draw it just double check that your limbs are seated all the way down to the bottom of the groove then your bow's um, strung nicely and it's ready to shoot. As with all our other bows, this bow is made from a high strength uh, aluminium. It also uses chemically blackened marine grade 316 stainless steel and it uses the same great limbs that we use on all our other bows and that many of the industry's leading compound bow manufacturers use. The bow does have mounting points for sights, for quivers, for arrow rests, for plunger buttons, um, but do note it does not have a mounting point for a stabilizer or a bowfish mount if you wanted to put that on the front of your riser. The riser can be converted from left to right hand simply by swapping the limbs around and stringing in, in the other direction. Uh, there are options for stick on rests and if you want to shoot off the shelf, you can shoot off the shelf, you'll just need to make sure you use feather fletched arrows and you will need to build up that shelf to make it nice and soft using some kind of hair rest or some kind of felt rest or something like that as you choose it's very adaptable you can set it up the way that you want it so who's this bow for this bow is for the person who still wants a super compact setup similar to the sas tactical survival bow do bear in mind it's one inch longer but what it does allow is for the attachment of the accessories as i mentioned earlier so if you need something that's super compact, fits in a very small backpack, a 22 inch backpack, stores arrows inside the riser and has the capability of adding accessories to help you shoot better, this is then the bow for you. Do bear in mind that the grip is going to be a little bit wider than what you would um, naturally think is comfortable. Um, but as with all longbows, you never shoot a longbow with a grip. You're going to shoot a longbow with a flat hand. Okay, so you're going to use the, the meaty part of your thumb and it's going to be more like a push, more like you're pushing someone away in the chest. That is the correct way to hold a longbow. You don't grip the bow, you don't wrap your fingers around. So this wider grip is actually going to allow for a lot more stable uh, hand position and a lot more stable um, shot once you release the arrow. I have here with me the all new Scout Compact Takedown Bow. It's very similar to the Ranger Bow and a lot of customers have been asking me why so similar well two key differences the scout does not have internal arrow storage so you can't store your takedown arrows inside of the riser but it does have a more comfortable grip for those of you who prefer something a little bit narrower and a little bit uh, more comfortable now what i can say is that the ranger is not uncomfortable it's a bow that employs a push type longbow grip um, very much like the tactical and the recon bows grips as well okay so it's a 22 inch riser made of high strength aluminium comes with a little cinch strap to hold your limbs in place uh, the limbs again are the same limbs that you find on your atmos and ranger bows so that you can um, swap them in and out you don't have to buy a set of limbs of different poundages for each of your bows and very similar to the the ranger um, it sets up in the same way what you're going to do is you're going to insert your limb into your limb pocket you take the small loop of the string keeping tension on the string you're going to make sure that the uh, limb is visible inside of the limb pocket there's a little cutout here on the carbon inserts keep tension on the bow you're going to place your other limb into the top pocket and then again keeping tension on the string making sure that those limbs are seated down to the bottom of those limb pockets and you're going to string the bow using the step through method
Once your bow is strung, it is a 60 inch uh, bow. Uh, the bow does have holes, mounting holes for accessories such as sights and quivers. The hardware that holds these carbon inserts in place is a 316 chemically blackened stainless steel and it uses a B50 Dacron string. It's the same string uh, made by OMP that we use on all our bows. Um, again, the string is going to be um, the same string that you use on your Atmos, on your Ranger and on your Tactical. It's only the Recon bow that is slightly longer at 62 inches. Who's this bow for? This is a bow for someone who has a little bit more space in their backpack or who is using full length takedown arrows that are stored on the outside of your pack. It's got a slightly more comfortable grip, so for someone with slightly smaller hands it's going to fit your hand a little bit better. But again, it's going to be just as comfortable for someone with big hands because you're employing that push type longbow grip. So this is Doug Shadwell, Director of Survival Archery Systems. Thanks for watching. This is the all new Scout Compact Takedown Bow. Check you next time.